What's up everybody, Neo here with Gadget Hacks. Today I'm going to show you how to place your jailbroken iOS device in safe mode and help you remove any unstable or incompatible tweaks that may have caused your device to crash. So, in my case, if you take a look, this is actually not a wallpaper. This is my attempt of placing or replacing a folder icon. Uh, if I swipe around, you'll notice all my apps are gone. And if I swipe a little bit to the right, you can see my wallpaper peeking out. So it essentially placed an overlay over my home screen. Now typically your Cydia substrate, which is pre-installed when you jailbreak your device and install Cydia, which is essentially an app store for tweaks, it automatically places you into safe mode. It's not always the case, as you can see from my device, so I have to actually enter safe mode on my own. Now you can take some precautions and install a tweak like SB Power Alert, which allows you to perform a short hold on your lock or sleep button and you'll get an advanced power menu with safe mode included right there. Now this is extremely easy, you can jump right into it, but if you didn't take any precautions or it's too late for that or you just can't utilize that tweak for any reason, you can also manually enter safe mode. Now to do that, you would power down your device by holding down the sleeper wake key and then when it's fully powered down, you would power it back on, only holding the volume up key simultaneously throughout the whole process. So I'm going to hold it down, hold it down. Once I see the Apple logo, I'll let go of the power key. So it may take a few minutes, or maybe just one minute. There we go. So I'm going to still hold the volume up, and this will manually place us in safe mode. All right, so here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and unlock the device. And typically when it, when it launches itself in safe mode, you get a pop-up letting you know you're in safe mode and to restart into regular mode by tapping the status bar. Uh, that's not the case because I manually did it, but you can tell you're in safe mode because most of your tweaks are disabled. So my, uh, my transparent dock is not there anymore. And if I go to settings and scroll down, you'll notice your, your tweak options are, are gone. So you know you're in safe mode. Now, safe mode is a window of opportunity for you to use your device in a normal mode with all your tweaks disabled, including the one that may have caused it to crash. So you can take this opportunity to enter Cydia now, locate that tweak, which I'm going to show you how to do. So I would go to installed. Now you can look through the Apple list, or if it's something recent, just tap recent up here. Scroll all the way to the top, folder icons is giving me this crash. So right here I can tap modify and remove. Now if I want to just remove this one I would hit confirm but if you want to do multiple ones you can do continue queuing and you can go back to your installed list and do the same thing continue queuing for another tweak and then once you have enough where you want to remove multiple ones and you have all of them selected go down to installed you tap Q and here's your queue and you would just confirm and it would actually remove multiple ones if you have them listed so I'm going to go ahead and confirm and remove this tweak that caused that issue with my device. So as you saw, it said restart springboard, which was just essentially my home screen. Now if you want to actually exit safe mode after manually doing it, just power it on your device and power it back up. Because I'm still actually currently in safe mode. And now I don't have to hold down the volume up, I just power it up normally holding down the sleep slash wake key. All right, so we're back up and running. And now I'm back with all my tweaks enabled. Um, if your theme isn't, you might just want to go back into your winter board and apply the theme again. But uh, all my tweaks are back. If I go to my settings and scroll all the way down, all the options for my tweaks are right here, like groovy lock, um, force reach, dock shift, they're all back there. So I know it's performing how it was before. And I don't have that issue anymore because I removed the tweak that was causing the crash. Uh, definitely check out the full guide, especially if you're interested in SB Power Alert. Uh, there's tons of information of how this actually works and why. Also, don't forget to like, comment, and definitely hit the subscribe button for more awesome Gadget Hack videos. All right, thanks, guys.